Hey folks, it's Rob Russell with 2A Tactical and 2A Tech Air Ops Drone Services here in Barrington, New Hampshire. Just doing a uh, quick video about uh, our newest drone, the Mavic 3T, which is the thermal uh, enterprise drone by DJI. Um, this is uh, Bumford Road in uh, Barrington, actually our property. And as you can see, I just brought the um, drone up to 388 feet, which is just under the maximum normally allowed altitude. Um, you can see me there and Echo, um, little black dot, that's me walking um, by the, uh, the boxes there and we're heading into the woods. So what I'm trying to show here is how much the thermal camera aids in searches uh, for people, uh, lost dog, um, anything really bad guys. If it has a heat signature, it's a incredibly valuable asset. Um, the winds weren't too bad. You can see they're uh, 5.8 knots, but the other day we had them out in 30 knot winds and the camera was perfectly stable. So if you still see me down there, again, call it 400 feet just for the sake of this video. That is farther than a football field, um, and I'm wearing a, a black jacket and green pants, and Echo is uh, basically a white lab. And, I mean, it's, it's arguably hard to see us, even though it's a very, very clear picture. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to zoom in, and in a second I'm going to show you the thermal. So there's me waving, and you can see Echo. Um, this is a not quite at full zoom here not even close at full zoom um, and again if I was still if I was injured it would be very difficult to see me so now I'm putting thermal on and I'm not gonna tell you I'm the world expert on this I'm very new to this platform um, but when you're searching for thermal you have to think about the direction of the Sun and that'll be important in a little bit when I show you Right now, um, the sun is coming from roughly the south, so call it the left, um, bottom left of the screen. And you can see me, um, you know, because you know I'm there, but if you were uh, probably not knowing I was there, you might not see me. Um, I'm gonna switch through a couple of the different thermal settings you'll see here in a second. Uh, there's a few different ones. There's a preferential one that seems to be what most people use, which is the one called Tint, which is what I'm on right now. And then this is white hot, black hot. Um, again, here's Tint. Here is Iron Red. We've got uh, Hot Iron will be next, and then Arctic. And as I get better with the platform some of these are more preferential depending on the specific uh, job you're doing so not so much search and rescue but some of these are more important for commercial and industrial jobs um, so going back again here we're just gonna transition and <laughs> Echo's having a great time he's running around he loves it um, you're again we're we're 400 feet and if I was flying around and I was looking for a person um, you're gonna start to be able to tell what red uh, lines are um, trees where they're collecting um, heat from the Sun and if you see a blob you're gonna want to get close and take a look and as we've been doing uh, gone out twice um, to a location in New Hampshire to do a real world search. We've seen heat signatures. It didn't turn out to be what we were hoping, but the idea here is I see that blob and <laughs> I'm the blob and I'm zooming in and this has a 56 power zoom. So I'm gonna go to full zoom. So here I am again, I'm at 400 feet and you're gonna see here in a second, you'll actually be able to see the expression on my face. Now here I lie down kind of trying to, you know, and of course echo attacks. Um, but if I was an injured person, 
I mean, you'd be able to tell most likely uh, versus a log or something else that was collecting some sort of radiant heat. The other thing to keep in mind is how incredibly stable this is. Uh, I've done a lot of work, a lot of operations in helicopters, not as a pilot, but as a passenger. Um, and they have a, a, an amazing place in search and rescue. I'm not discounting that. Um, but they're loud, they, they're, they shake. Um, these drones are incredibly stable. Um, and there's a huge cost benefit analysis as well and a safety benefit uh, but certainly don't want helicopters to go away so here's a here's a really good example you can see how the sunlight um, is putting that radiant heat uh, against the sort of north uh, or what would be the southwest side of those logs now of those trees now if I turn around okay and come back at me now notice that it's a whole different game so if you use the sunlight to your advantage in other words if you are searching a wooded area um, there are ways that you, <laughs> there's echo running around that if you essentially are having the camera at a side where you're not getting the gradient heat as much against the trees you're going to get a much stronger um, thermal image and this is just real quick to see there's a vehicle going by um, there's my truck it was just driven and a vehicle that was just driven looks completely different than a vehicle that's been sitting even just for an hour um, so that's a, a huge benefit and uh, guys that's really just going to wrap it up there's me and I'm waving Hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, we're going to do more. And just want to thank you for your time. God bless everybody. Stay safe. And uh, let's keep finding these lost people. Thank you.